Peter Vladimirovich Emelianenko was born on September 28, 1976. Emelianenko's height is 183 centimeters, the competitive weight in different periods of his career ranged from 101 to 108 kilograms. Childhood and adolescence Feeder Emelianenko was born in the Ukrainian city of Rubezhnoye, Luhinsk region, in the family of Olga Fedorovna, a teacher, and Vladimir Alexandrovich, a gas electric welder. Feeder was the second child in the family, his parents already had a daughter Marina, who was born in 1974. In 1978 the family moved to Stereoskal, Belgorod region. Later, Feeder had two brothers, Alexander, born in 1981, and I. He had a rather dramatic relationship with Alexander, although initially they communicated well and closely. But when both were already adults and were developing sports careers, there was a conflict between them, because of which they stopped maintaining relationships. And they even brought it out to the public, giving loud interviews and exchanging caustic statements in the media. It was Feeder who brought Alexander to the Sambo and Judo Hall. In 2011, a documentary about Emelianenko Sr. was released on the Rossiya 2 TV channel. In this picture, Alexander remembered how Feeder as a child dragged him on his back, took him out of kindergarten. And he also confirmed that it was his brother who brought him to the sport. Thanks to him, I came to MMA, got into Pride. I follow in his footsteps in sports. The Emelianenko brothers performed in Pride, one of the most famous MMA promotions of the late 1990s, mid-2000s. At first they worried about each other, but then something went wrong, pride collapsed, their career paths diverged, Feeder and Alexander stopped training together. Alexander began to get into one scandal after another. In the spring of 2014, he was accused of rape, then imprisoned. He was released in November 2016. Feeder, a month after that, told Fontanka that he communicates with his brother through his mother. In 2017, there was a famous skirmish between the brothers in the press when Feeder, reacting to Alexander's interview, called his brother Judas. Alexander, in turn, said, there is more shit in the Fed than it weighs. In February 2018, Alexander said in an interview with SE, of course, we will make up. But three years later, everything remained at the same level. In September 2021, Alexander again stated in an interview with the Hustle MMA podcast that he does not communicate with his brother at all. I haven't talked to Fyodor for a very long time. 14 years old, probably, said Emelianenko Jr., we don't talk at all. So, in an interview, he says something. I called him once, he was already hysterical. I thought he would drown in his words. I listened, talked, hung up the phone and realized that we would not be able to establish relations for a long time. When asked about reconciliation, he gave a clear answer, he does not believe that this will happen. Do you believe that you will fix it? I don't believe it at all. My life is calmer and more comfortable without Feeder. When with Fyodor, it is necessary to do something to Fyodor's tune, to dance. Please him. Fedya. Fedya. Go lick him to make him happy. Now I don't depend on anyone on my own and no Feeders are standing in my way. Fyodor did not just decide on the wedding back in 2007 after a trip to Devivo. His church formation began not just baptism but regular participation in divine services and in church life, the desire to live in a Christian way. The media write that Emelianenko thought about matters of faith while serving in the army, but it was from 2007 that his attitude to religion began to bear a pronounced character. Since then, Fyodor often mentions God in his statements. When a person finds faith. You are turned 180 degrees either you are with Christ or you are not. This is exactly a radical choice. You break with your past I'm sure there's no other way, quotes the words of Emelianenko Foma. Sports career of Feeder Emelianenko Sports in the life of the last emperor began at the age of 10 with sambo and judo classes in the section. His first coach is Vasily Gavrilov. After a year of sambo and judo classes in the section, Emelianenko was taken to Vladimir Voronov sports class. Under his leadership, Feeder trained until about 2016 inclusive, in 2020, Voronov died from the effects of coronavirus. Emelianenko graduated from the school in 1991 and entered a vocational school, which he graduated with honors in 1994. From 1995 to 1997 he served in the ranks of the Russian army. After being discharged from the reserve in 1997, Feeder received the title of Master of Sports of Russia in Sambo and two months later became a Master of Sports in Judo. Later, he also received the title of Master of Sports of International Class in Sambo. In 1999, Emelianenko, as part of the Russian national sambo team, became a bronze medalist in international Class A tournaments and also helped the team win a gold medal in the European Team Championship in Istanbul. But Feeder was forced to lead the national team due to the injustice in refereeing and the need for earnings. All this pushed him to perform in mixed rules fights on a professional basis. The first MMA organization in Emelianenko's career was the Japanese Rings. 
There he fought 11 fights and won the heavyweight championship. It was in rings that he suffered his first official defeat from Tsuyoshi Kasaki. The Japanese at the 17th second of the fight inflicted a dissection on Feeder with an elbow blow, after which Emil Ionenko was banned from continuing the fight. Elbows in the rings were banned, but the victory was awarded to Kasaka. Achievements and awards from April 2001 to June 2010, Feeder did not lose a single fight. In 2003 to 2010, he was recognized as the world's best heavyweight fighter, according to ESPN, SureDog, Full Contact Fighter, MMA Weekly. Idols of Emil Ionenko. Nine-time champion of Russia in combat sambo, four-time world champion in combat sambo, master of sports of international class in judo, two-time world champion in mixed martial arts according to rings. Two-time world champion in mixed martial arts according to WAMA. Feeder also has a number of awards. Medal of the Order of Merit for the Fatherland, 2 degree, May 21, 2007, for merits in the development of physical culture and sports, and many years of conscientious work, honorary title, the best in sports of St. Petersburg, 2009, title honorary citizen of the Belgorod region, for outstanding achievements in sports and personal contribution to the development of physical culture and sports, 2009, Golden Order of the Romanov Family, St. Nicholas II I degree, 2010, Honorary Badge, for Merits in the Development of Physical Culture and Sports, 2016, and many others. In 2015, during negotiations with the Japanese promotion, Emil Ioninko came up with the idea to create his own team. The idea came to life. Now there are seven fighters in feeder team, and everyone is fighting in Bellator. Almost all the students are from Stereoskal. In September 2021 Emil Ioninko applied for a master's degree at the Vorinna State Agrarian University named after Emperor Peter I. According to media reports, Feeder successfully passed the entrance exams in viticulture and fruit growing. He chose the direction of gardening. Vadim Nemkov, light heavyweight, champion. Anatoly Tokov, average weight, Valentin Moldavsky, heavyweight. Kirill Sidlnikov, 12-6, heavyweight. Viktor Nemkov, light heavyweight. Vladimir Tokov, lightweight. Nikita Mikhailov is a featherweight. The coaching staff of the team is Vladimir Voronov and Alexander Michkov. The famous nickname of the last emperor fighter was received in Japan. However, according to Emil Ionenko himself, he doesn't really like it. I was called the last emperor in Japan, where I performed many times. But I don't really like it because the last emperor we had was Nicholas II, fighter said in an interview in 2017. What is feeder Emil Ionenko doing now in 2021? Emil Ionenko continues his sports and coaching career. In the summer it became known that in October the fighter will meet in a duel with Timothy Johnson and Bellator at VTB Arena. The fight will take place on October 23rd in Moscow at VTB Arena as part of the evening of martial arts at the Bellator 269 tournament, which will be the first event of the promotion in Russia. Under the contract with Bellator, Feeder has two more fights left. However, he has the right not to finalize this agreement until the end.